welcome to class. My name is Allison, and for today's workout, we're doing a 30-minute bodyweight session. The format of this class today is going to be a descending ladder. We'll be completing two blocks with five moves each for three rounds. Round one will be 45 seconds on and a 20-second rest. Round two will be 30 seconds on and a 15-second rest. And finally, round three will be 20 seconds on and a 10-second rest. This workout's gonna go very quick, and the first round is going to feel like the longest, but no worries, it gets shorter from there. A warm-up band cooldown is not included, so please make sure to do this on your own. The only equipment you need is a mat, and that's for when we're on the ground. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. For your first exercise, we're combining alternating monster kicks and reverse lunges. So for this move, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the legs straight, kick, kick, and then from there, alternate, reverse, lunge. Set the feet up, do it again. Now, if you'd like to make this as kind of an extension for your warm up, you can make it a lift and kick, bending the knee a bit more, and then a half reverse lunge. So kick, kick, reverse lunge. All right, so when you're ready, 10 seconds on the clock, round one, 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. We're going in five. Ready, three, two, and let's go. So monster kicks up, reverse lunge. Get a nice stretch in those hips, kick, kick. I'm gonna do a modified version for my next. So if you'd like to, you can make it a small kick, small kick, half lunge, half lunge again. Small kick, small kick, back. And once those hamstrings are nice and warmed, please go ahead and try these big monster kicks. Whew. Good, out. Out, lunge. You only have 12 seconds left. Core is tight, nice and strong with those legs and arms. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Your second move, 20 second rest. Keep a light march in between. Double pulse squat, heel lifts. So back view is gonna be squat, squat. Lift, on the he or lift those heels up, toes on the ground. All right, in five we start. Four, three, get nice and low. Let's do it. Pulse, pulse, lift and squeeze. So really squeezing those calf muscles. Down, down, lift. Modification, you can shorten this range and then continue to add those smaller heel lifts. Down, down, up. You're also squeezing those glutes on top. Breathe. You're doing great. Halfway through this time, Heads up, your next exercise, we are down on the ground for T push-ups. I am gonna grab my mat because I'm gonna do these on my knees, but you're welcome to do this on your toes. 12 seconds. Good. Last eight. You're doing awesome. Remember, you're gonna get your mat. Four, three, two, and one. And we're actually using your mat for this exercise in the next. T push-ups. Exactly what start the sentence sounds like. Hands meet together in the center. Out to the side push up, out to the side push up. Feel free to do this on your hands and toes. All right, four seconds we begin. Three, two, embrace the core. Let's go. Out, angle. Abs are tight. Get that chest towards the ground. Get a nice stretch and just breathe. Woo. If you need to modify more, shorter range of motion. Another option is you can go ahead and do some traditional wall push-ups, hands on a wall, and just bring it in and out with the chest. All right, we have about 16 seconds left. Keep it up, and then like I said, we're staying down here for the next move. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. You stretch, hang out. Because we were just on our wrists, I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to my forearms. Fire hydrant kicks. Then other side, fire hydrant kicks. All right, if this is uncomfortable, you can definitely take it up here. Figure it'd give you a little wrist break. You can definitely do this on your forearms. Ready, set, and let's go. Up, kick, down. Really working those outer thighs and glutes. Rotate, lift. Woo. Good. I know all lower body here. Those arms get a bit of a break. Lift, kick, extend. 
If you don't like the kick, feel free to stick with just alternating fire hydrants. That's fine. Up, extend. Awesome, 15 seconds. And then we're back to a standing position for some traveling curtsy lunges. You know, double treble with those legs, but those curts will be, curtsies will be your last move in block one. And stop, give yourself a quick stretch. Come on up, get that mat out of the way. All right, curtsy lunges. Hands can stay on the hips. You're going back, step wide, going back, step wide. Like always, feel free to shorten that range of motion. All right, in three, two, let's do it. This is your final exercise in block one. You're gonna get an extended recovery on the other end of this. Block two, you shorten that time and the recovery a little bit, 30 to 15. For now, keep focusing on these curtsies. Here's your modification. Shorter range, soft bed in the knees. If you really don't like curtsies, you're welcome to go back and just do a set of alternating reverse lunges. That is perfectly fine. Woo, 15. You're doing awesome. I told you it goes pretty quick. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two. Go ahead and walk it out. Give yourself about 45 seconds. Coming up, round number two of block one. 30 seconds on, 15 second rest. Same five, five exercises in the same sequence. Starting off, now we're definitely warmed. Give me those monster kicks. Two alternating reverse lunges. We do it again and again, right there. It's gonna go right to that next exercise. All right, giving you another 15 seconds. Sneak that drink in if you need to. Give yourself some floor space. Let's go in 10. All right, this round's gonna go a lot quicker. Here we go, in four, three, two, arms up, abs in, kick, kick, reverse, kick, reverse. You know your modification, I'm not gonna demo, but all you're gonna do is shorten that range of motion, do some smaller kicks. Up on deck, double pulse squat with the heel lifts. All right, so I'm gonna to try to be good and tell you what's coming up since the break is shorter. Woo, good, three, two, and stop. Walk or jog it out. So again, it's double pulse squat, heel lifts, obviously get deeper than that. <laughs> if you need to, you can keep it on top or take out that pulse. Okay, we're going in five. Woo, ready, set, let's do it. Down, down, pop those heels up, squeeze the glutes. Standing tall, you're gonna feel it all in the posterior, even those hamstrings are activated. So again, here's that back view, down, down. Squeeze and lift. Really get up on those toes, yes. All right, coming up, you're gonna get your mat. T push-ups, and then right to those fire hydrant leg extensions. Come on, five, four, three, two, get your mat. Walk it off. Get your mat, take it down. Knees or toes, remember I'm doing these on my knees. You do what's best for you. In four, three, start with hands together. Let's go, remember you can do this standing. Do some standing wall push-ups instead. If you're not feeling this move. Take your time, smooth transition, get that nice stretch in the chest and shoulders. Good, whoo. You're doing great. 10 seconds left already. Can you imagine how quick those 20 seconds are gonna go when we get to it? <laughs> Three, two, and stop. Sink back. Why don't you just take a breath here because we're hanging out down here. Fire hydrant to leg extensions. I'm gonna take it to my forearms. You do what's best for you. In four. Three, two, here we go. Up, kick in and down. Nice big extension, alternating sides every time. Very nice. Stay there, stay there. You squeeze the glutes, 10 seconds. Then we're back up and finishing with some curtsies. And then that's it, block one is, or round two is done. Three, two, and one, give yourself a quick stretch. 
get that mat out of the way so you're not tripping on it. All right, curtsies, you know it. We love it. <laughs> Reverse lunges are your option. Three, two, and let's go. Down and up, down and up. If you wanna make this more intense, you're welcome to stay low in that squat in between. I am going to stand, <laughs> so that's up to you. Down and lift. Making sure those hips are not completely rotating all the way, right? Do the best you can, square them to the front. Extend and recovery on the other side. Four, three, two, walk it out. Good, again, I'll give you another 45 seconds. Walk it out. All right, 15 seconds we start. We're kick, kicking it off, monster kicks, alternating reverse lunges. Starting in 10. This is only 20 seconds, gonna go fast. Four, three, two, you ready? All right, let's do it. Kick, kick, reverse, breathe. Kick, kick, reverse, awesome. And even if you only get a few of these in, eight seconds left already. That's all right, we're moving. Whew. Four, three, two, walk it out, up on deck, double pulse, squat, heel lifts. We're already going in four, three, two, sink low. Down, down, pop it up. Down, down, pop it up. Again, nice and low, squeeze the glutes, activate those hams. Obviously getting those calves, 10 seconds. Then you're gonna get your mat. Next two moves on the floor, T push-ups. Four, three, two, quickly move. Get that mat, get on the ground. Or if you're going against the wall, you're standing. In four, three, two, let's move. 20 seconds, zips by. That break is like non-existent. <laughs> After this one, fire hydrant. Leg extensions, you know it. You love it. Five, four, three, two. Give yourself a breather, deep breath in. Exhale out. Come back on the forearms. All right, let's go right to it. Two moves left. Up and kick, up and kick. Nice. Really squeeze on top. Lift that leg. Woo. You're doing so awesome. Three, two, quickly stand up. Slide that mat out of the way. Traveling curtsies. Final move, block one. In three, two, let's do this. Down and up. Down and up. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Yes. Drive through, last eight already. And then we'll walk it out, go back. Block number two, three, two, and done. Good job. Block one, done. Close that door. First move, set of bicycle crunches. So bicycles, pretty basic, nothing is, Crazy complicated when it comes to the exercises in today's workout. So your full bicycle is gonna be here. Your modification, you can do a single leg switch instead. All right, so really embrace the core, don't forget to breathe, and then just take your time, pace it out. Back to the top of time. Round one, 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. We begin in 10. All right, all the way down to your back. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Hands behind the head. Three, two, and let's go. So bicycles, I don't love going super fast with these. I know some do. I'd rather have a really good form and focus on the core. And even if you're here, you're going nice and slow. Head can be down, head can be up. So if you can't do twisting, that is going to be your alternative option. Good. Whew. Beautiful job, rotate, about 12 seconds left, you've got it. We are staying on our back for your next move. 
four, three, two, and stop. 20 seconds, you recover. Next one coming up, hip bridge. And we're gonna hold the hip bridge up and do some slow marches. If that is too much, you embrace the core, hip steady, do that march, keeping the hips on the ground the whole time. All right, get ready in four, three, two, lift the hips, abs in, let's march. So if you wanna make this cha more challenging, extend those arms up. Good, so you're taking away that extra support with the fingers here, but this is fine. This is fine. And then you can also do this if you wanna make it a little more challenging but keeping the hips down. Lots of different ways to do the same exercise. Core engagement, really filling the glutes. Working that lower back. Nice and slow. All right, coming up, we're going into a plank position, high plank, shoulders and core. Woo. Awesome, three, two, and stop. Bring it up and around. Okay, plank rotations, high plank. Rotate open, rotate open, that's it. If you'd like to, you can do this on your knees. That's fine. We're going in five, four, three, two. Here we go, high plank to start in the center. Rotate, turn and look at the hands. Rotate, turn and look at the hands. Now, if this bothers your wrist, you're welcome to just hold a modified forearm plank on your knees or toes um, the whole time, all right? So that's gonna be your alternative. And obviously the knee version I demoed earlier. You can keep the rotation if you want. You're just kind of swiveling those hips side to side. Nice and smooth and controlled. 14 seconds. Breathe. Whew. Yes. Looks so good. Four, three, two, go ahead and take a seat. All right, next one, combining some seated tricep dips and an alternating knee lift. The farther back you go, the more intense. This is one, if your wrist bother you, you can get some dumbbells, keep your wrists um, in line and that'll take some of that pressure off. All right, abs tight, shoulders back, dip it first. Back, one knee, back, the other knee. Option, double this up. I'll throw a few of those in. Low version is going to be no knee lift. And you're just leaning back and up. <clears throat> so choose what you like. This is a great workout to also save and do if you're traveling and maybe you're in a hotel room with not a lot of space, you don't have any equipment. This is a great one to go back on. 20 seconds. Make it bigger. And then for your final move, I'll tell you now, I'm gonna grab my water bottle, but using it as a visual. You can use whatever you want. A water bottle, dumbbell, doesn't matter. <laughs> in four, three, two, and I'll show you what I mean. Go ahead, stop. Okay, water bottle. We're gonna do some rainbows. I'm gonna go here. I'm just using it as a visual to go up and over. And the option is to stagger it. If you don't have anything, you can definitely do it without just go corner to corner of your mat. Okay, we're going in four, three, two, here we go. Whew. Up and over, up and over. This is your final move in block two. Extend and recovery on the other side. And then we get to start shortening this time. I know, that's the most exciting part. There's your staggered. Good. Want to work harder? Make this bigger. Pretend like your water bottle is twice the height. Whew. You'll feel it. <laughs> Good. Up and over, 20 seconds. Whew. This one is a core crusher. <laughs> you got it. Breathe. 10 seconds. You're doing awesome. Extended recovery comes in four, three, two, and stop. Good. All right, get a drink. 30 seconds on, 15 second rest. Yes, that is a version of Tabata because we're two to one. It starts gonna start to feel a little bit quicker. Breaks are a little bit shorter as well. All right, bicycle crunches, single leg switch, whatever you like. Um, we're back on our backs, starting in 10. All right, let's do this. Take a breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, legs are up. Three, two, let's do it. 
Remember, don't rush these bicycles. Take your time, keep the good form. Shoulder blades lifted off the ground when you twist. And even if you're here, head can be down, head can be up. Halfway through time, up on deck. Hip bridges, hip bridge marches, I mean. Holding that bridge up. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and just rest. Watch me, it's the hip bridge up. Hips are steady, we march. If you want to do this, if you like more challenge, arms are up. All right, Whew, you ready? Three, two, bring the hips up. Let's go. So if you want to make this even more challenging, you can hold an object right here like a dumbbell or a book or something. And that'll make you engage your core maybe even a little more. And again, if your hips are lowered, keep those arms up or to the side. 10 seconds. Then we have those high plank rotations. We'll be flipping it over. Whew. Four, three, two, and bring it down. Hug those knees, rock it up. All right, flipping it over, high plank rotations on your toes, on your knees, or just hold, hold a modified um, forearm plank on your toes or knees. Let's do it. Rotate, turn. Rotate, turn. So if your mat or floor lets you, hopefully you're able to just swivel those feet so you don't really have to move those too much. Maybe once in a while, adding a little adjustment. And if you're here, Rotate, and then you know the isometric hold. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, take a seat. Ooh, good job. All right, seated tries. Knee lift singles, knee lift doubles, no knee lifts at all. You ready? In four, three, pull the shoulders in, dip it back first, down and up. Really press and squeeze those triceps on the extension. Doubles here. No knees here. <laughs> Excellent. Last 15, do the version that's best for you. Lift and press, lift and press. Last six. And then your final move. Get that water bottle if you need a visual. Rainbow, stop. Rainbows up and over. Don't have the bottle, that's all right. You're just gonna go corner to corner with your, um, of your mat. Double leg, staggered stance, whatever you like. In three, two, embrace the core. Let's go. Up and over, up and over, corner to corner. Good. Modified, you're here. Woo. Oh, you're doing so amazing. Keep it up, halfway. Extended recovery on the other side. And then guess what? Your final round is coming up and it is going to fly by. Last five, three, two, and stop. Good job, get a drink. All right, another 20 seconds. So remember this 10 second rest is very short, which means I'm probably not gonna demo the next exercise, but I'll try to tell, I'll make sure to tell you what is coming up when we're getting close to the end of the current move. So starting off on our backs, bicycle crunches, and we stand our backs and we have those hip bridge marches. You ready to do this? Ready in four, three, two, here we go, over. <laughs> you got a little extra break there, that's all right, because we are going to zip through this all right, some more bicycles. And then up on deck, we stand our backs, hip bridges with those marches. In three, two, and stop, just rest. Plant those feet, engage the core, lift the hips. Ready, set, march it out. Lift, down, lift, down. Good, nice and steady. Up on deck, high plank rotations. So we're gonna flip it on over. In six. Three, two, 10 seconds. Go ahead, place those hips down. Roll it over. Woo, high planks, you know it. Toes or knees. Three, two, 
Let's do it. Rotate and turn. Rotate and turn. Good. Keep the core tight and really just rotate your entire body up and lift. Whew. Doing so great. Three, two, and stop. Take a seat. Reverse crunches with the triceps. So hands down, single or double knees. Let's go. Down and up, down and up. Doubles, you're here. Really lean back, get those triceps. Whew. Only one exercise left after this. You ready for it? Those rainbow up and overs. If you wanna use your bottle, get it. In four, three, two, and stop. All right, get that bottle. Take a breath, start on one side. This is it, final 20 seconds. Start right now. Up and over, up and over. Yes. Come on, make it bigger. It's only 10 more seconds left. I know it's in you. Finish strong. Six, five, four, three, two, and stop. Woo! All done. Great job, great job. I hope you enjoyed the format of this workout. I know it's a little bit different, but at least we got to end with some quick sets to finish. Remember to take five or 10 minutes to stretch on your own. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.